Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Look MRI, and this is a patient who had an MRI of the lumbar spine that looks pretty normal. She had acute onset of back pain about three weeks ago, and we did her thoracic and lumbar spine. She may have muscle spasm. They thought that she might have a disc herniation, but she does not. But she had a couple vascular things that I look for and see them pretty frequently. I mentioned them. Uh, and so here is the, here are the three vascular things I look for, and she had two of the three positive. So this is the abdominal aorta. I guess everybody looks for the abdominal aorta, see if you have an aneurysm. And uh, this is one of the other things besides that. This is the celiac trunk, and sometimes the celiac trunk will be pushed downward. Instead of coming out just horizontally like this, it'll be more vertical. Sometimes it goes straight down, then out. And the median arcuate ligament up here, part of the diaphragm, can push down in that. And when it is pushed down and, and narrowed, it can cause median arcuate ligament syndrome. But this patient has a nice wide one that's uh, pushing forward. And who knows, this little wisp over here could be part of the ligament. Usually the ligament ends about here, but again, sometimes it can come down and, and cover the, uh, the top of that or just push it down. So the median arcuate ligament is one thing to look for and make sure it's not compressing the, uh, the uh, celiac trunk. Now the other thing is right below it here, this is the SMA, superior mesenteric artery, and this patient does have an abnormally low SMA angle. So normally the angle between the aorta and the SMA is supposed to be between 25 and 60 degrees. It's more uh, horizontal. This one is very vertical. It looks like the angle is probably less than 10 degrees. So anything less than 15 or 17 degrees, some people say, is something that's very worrisome. And when it gets really tight like that or very uh, narrow like this, you can get pinching of the the duodenum, the third portion of the duodenum gets pinched between the aorta and the SMA, and they call this SMA syndrome. The food tries to go through and it can't get through, and they're, whenever they have a meal, they'll get bloated and feel uncomfortable. And the other thing you can get is with the same low SMA angle is the left renal vein that goes through there, can't get compressed, and you can get nutcracker syndrome. And so those are two things. And then the last thing is down low with the iliacs. So this is an axial, it means down low, we can see the left iliac vein, left iliac artery, right iliac vein, right iliac artery, and it's bright just because of uh, differences in flow, not a big deal. As we come up here, we can see the artery and vein of the vein is coming across, and they're going to converge to form the IVC. And as the left renal vein goes across, see how tight that is? This is the crossing right renal artery, left renal artery. Well, the vein is getting uh, compressed between the crossing right renal artery and the spine. It looks like there's no room at all, so it's really flat and then it blends with the IVC up higher. So this may predispose to may Thurner syndrome. And these patients can have slow uh, flowing blood the, with the increased venous pressure, and they're more susceptible to get deep vein thrombosis in the left leg. So I, I mentioned this, that this is very tight here. The left renal vein is compressed by the crossing right renal artery, which may predispose to may Thurner syndrome, and also that low SMA angle that may predispose to um, SMA syndrome. And that's it. So thank you very much.